Hi, I'm Mateo, and today we're going over everything you need to know about the massive update today in Pets Go. This week, the game has been completely changed with a ton of new features that Big Games added, such as a boatload of pay to win features and some pretty cool free to play features as well. But it's very important that we do talk about it all just so you know what's going on in the game and how you guys can use all of these new features for your benefit. There's also a lot of confusion going around about this new juicer machine, so I'll try Try to explain it for those who might be confused so if you learned something new in this video make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more helpful pets go content now let's get straight into this update all right you guys so starting off with today's video i'm gonna go over all of the good aspects about today's pets go update and then after that we will get into some of the bad things and i will give my criticisms on the game so far and i mean just starting off with a big one is the fact that they're keeping up with this weekly update schedule the fact that they're at least consistently going ahead and changing some things every single week and giving up some new upgrades to buy is a pretty good feature and very unlike big games especially since they are doing this on pet simulator 99 and on this game as well so we'll have to wait and see how long they can actually keep up with these weekly updates on both games but the second major w feature from big games that they added that is a free to play thing is this bonus roll over here now basically there's going to be like a little timer going off while you're in game and then once that timer's done you are going to be able to claim this bonus roll and i've actually had this roll go up to 100,000 x which is a pretty big deal so that is pretty good and a pretty w free to play feature from big games really quickly we'll go here and just do our 5,000 roll and see what we can get and we get a one in 140,000 cyborg dragon so that's pretty good one thing you have to pay attention to is that it does stop your auto roll though so make sure you start your rolls back over so for the only like thousand x rolls these are only a five minute timer but if you get the hundred thousand x roll it takes like a 30 minute timer instead either way it's pretty cool and definitely a good free to play feature for players and moving on to the third w free to play feature is actually going to be this breakable quest board so you can actually get access to these quests through this little upgrade over here in the breakable section and then you can also get this upgrade over here called double quest which gives you a second board so you'll have two lines of quests going on and they both have separate timers i believe there's like a 30 minute cooldown after you complete one of these quests and they can actually be pretty good i think my last quest gave me 20 lucky five potions which is actually very good because you need those in order to craft the instant luck threes and another w free to play feature that they added is the addition of these double luck weekends so this is once again just another free to play feature that they added to the game that benefits all players over the weekend so this is very good i'm sure this will help to keep the player base going on the weekends so just another nice feature that begins added to benefit the free to play players now if we head into our inventory you can actually see they added this potion right here called the instant luck four now the instant luck four potion is a 2.5 million percent luck addition when rolling for one turn so this is very good it's two and a half times as strong as the instant luck threes now if we go over into the potion making area over here i gotta say that the price to actually make these is totally not worth it i would 100 percent just go ahead and use 10 of your instant luck threes instead of converting it into one instant luck four it's insane that it takes three cocktails to make one of these things as well as 10 instant luck potions now a major difference between the instant luck threes and the instant luck fours is that these instant luck fours are actually tradable in the trading plaza as you can see the wrap value is currently 174,000 for one of these now that's kind of a good and a bad thing really depending on how you look at it the difference between pet simulator 99 and pets go is that the diamond currency in pets go is only a pay to win feature so the only way you could get diamonds is by actually buying it in a pack or buying this vip thing which gives you 400,000 diamonds so if a free to play player wants to get anything with diamonds they're gonna have to go ahead and sell some of the pets that they get for example this tech yeehaw dog that i opened up today is a one in 40 million chance and it sells for 50,000 diamonds so for a free to play player it's going to be very hard to get something of this level and it only sells for 50,000 diamonds meanwhile this instant luck four is selling for 174k so i think the fact that it's tradable is pretty much only 
probably going to be benefiting the pay to win players but for free to play players you can actually take advantage of this because when you actually go ahead and buy the potions upgrade to get the instant luck fours over here when you buy this upgrade up here you're gonna get one instant luck four for free which means you can actually go to the trading plaza and sell this and buy some of the other diamond upgrades that i'm about to talk about in a second so i would definitely make sure you go ahead and do that don't use it it's just not going to be worth it overall if you can get anywhere near that that is going to be a big plus for you guys that are free to play now another thing we got involving trading is actually the trading terminal in the trading plaza so this is very good so that you can go ahead and look for whatever pets you need for your index or whatever reason you're trying to buy it now another upgrade that we got that is a good free to play addition is the inclusion of the billionaire's vault so this actually raises the coin cap to 1.5 billion and then i believe this next upgrade upgrades the coin cap to 2.5 billion so that is a, another free to play feature that allows you to hold more uh coins which is going to be good for future updates when you're going to need to buy all of these new upgrades and then the last w feature of this pets go update is the inclusion of this new machine here called the pet juicer so the pet juicer essentially allows you to convert pets into various types of instant luck potions so how this machine works is that in the different tiers of instant lux they require pets that are above a certain range so for example the instant luck threes require pets that are a hundred thousand plus so i can only use pets that are a hundred thousand plus in order to make this and i'm gonna need 65 of these just to make one instant luck three so as you can see i just load up 65 of these and it's going to allow me to make one of these potions now how much pets it's going to take you in order to make one of these potions is going to depend on how much the juicer machine is charged up so if it's at a hundred percent charge then it's going to take you a lot less pets in order to make these and then each of these tiers of potions also require different levels of pets so in order to make instant luck one potions you're going to need pets that are 600 and plus so for example the giraffe is a one out of 600 chance so that means i can use that to make a bunch of these instant luck ones and in total it's going to cost me 32 pets just to make one of these so if i go ahead and put 32 pets in here you're going to see that the charge is going to go down here on the right and as the charge goes down it's going to cost me even more pets to make the next one all right so we're going to make this instant luck one here and you're going to see after we make the instant luck one now it's taking me 34 so if i put 34 of these pets in here again the charge is going to go down on the right and now it's going to cost me 36 pets so essentially you basically want to use this machine whenever it's at 100 percent charge if we go into the upgrades here you can see how it works so inside the potions tab in the top left here this is where the pet juicer upgrades come in so you could get various upgrades that make the power on the machine last longer up to this very important quick charge upgrade right here and then there's other various upgrades like making it cheaper in order to make certain types of potions and then there's other various upgrades that make this machine just a little bit better so overall a very good feature from big games and good for free to play players now moving on to the very bad pay to win features of this update that we have to talk about starting off with one that you probably saw while i was going through the upgrades but there's actually a bunch of additional new diamond upgrades that you can only buy using diamonds in the game now this one over here for example is very good it makes rainbow dice happen every 40 rolls instead of 80 which is a very significant buff for sure over here blazing dice happens every 500 rolls instead of 825 so that's pretty good as well item drops from rolling are significantly higher quality this is a major upgrade as well and then probably the biggest pay to win diamond upgrade i think that i've seen so far is over here in the luckier tab so we actually have this diamond egg so the diamond egg is 200,000 diamonds and all of the pets in this egg are one in 25 or better so this egg is two and a half times better than the last best egg that you can buy with coins which is a one out of ten chance now this might be a controversial take but i think these diamond upgrades are a very stupid pay to win feature that big games added to pets go obviously players are going to be able to sell their pets for diamonds in order to buy these upgrades 
but free to play players aren't going to have high enough level pets that are even going to be worth selling in order to get these upgrades. The only thing free to play players got that is actually worth some diamonds is that new instant luck four potion in this update. But even if you go ahead and sell this potion, you still aren't going to have enough for that diamond egg, which is absolutely broken. Now, obviously, I have some pretty cool pets that are worth enough if I did want to go ahead and sell them for diamonds to be able to buy these upgrades. But if I do go ahead and sell these, I'm going to lose these pet charms that give me a pretty significant luck boost. We just got a pretty significant pet there from that 1000 X roll. But you guys pretty much know exactly what big games is intending with adding this to the game. They just want people to go ahead and at least buy this VIP game pass that gives them 400,000 diamonds because they're going to be able to buy all of these new diamond upgrades with it. So it's essentially the first thing in a long list of very pay to win features that big games added in this week's update. And another two major pay to win things they added are right here above this in the exclusive shop. You can see this new game pass called two times coins, which doubles the amount of coins you earn for 200 Robux. To be fair, I mean, 200 Robux is isn't that expensive so it's not like the worst deal but either way it's pretty much just the principle that they keep adding all of these pay to win various features in the game and then the other one is a plus three pet equip slots so just another pay to win feature that is going to allow people to grind faster than the free to play players and then on top of the already stupidly pay to win forever pack that we have in this game and this double your luck feature and the double dice and the triple dice big games added this feature to the diamond packs that give you a chance at getting god potions if you buy these big diamond packs so when you buy this diamond pack you can get either 50 instant luck threes 15 instant luck fours or one god potion so if you're going ahead and buying this 50 dollar pack of diamonds you are essentially getting double what these diamonds are because you're going to be able to sell whatever you get whether it's these instant luck fours or a god potion this thing is worth a whopping 34 million diamonds and then they even added a bundle of 20 instant luck threes to the large bundle which is around 20 dollars and then finally the nail in the coffin that ended the chain chances for all free to play players in pets go is the addition of the penta dice so they call it the penta roll which essentially means that whenever somebody with that game pass rolls they're going to be rolling for five pets at once which means that a pay to win player is going to be able to open pets five times as fast as a free to play player so that is a pretty big pay to win feature and honestly this might be the biggest cash grab game that i've ever seen in my life on roblox not on roblox it's honestly kind of embarrassing going over this stuff every week but to be fair they did add a good amount of free to play features to the game and they are making a decent effort at keeping the game updated honestly it's the fault of all of the youtubers and all of these guys that are actually willing to spend all of this money on the game because the only reason big games is putting out these features is because people are buying it every single week that it drops so honestly as a community we need to keep each other accountable and stop buying all this pay to win trash that big games puts out and honestly you guys should just stop watching videos where people are buying all these pay to win stuff because those are pretty much the only types of videos that are doing well on this platform which pretty much just promotes big games to keep implementing features like this either way if you are a free to play player on this game i don't think you really have a chance to ever compete with anybody else I bought all of the beginning game passes like Hyper Dice and Ultra Lucky, but I'm not going to spend another dime on this game ever again. And I hope you guys agree with that because this is just a pay to win cash grab. You could see they are just trying to milk it as much as they can before they jump onto something new. I don't know how they managed to make a game that was even more pay to win than Pet Simulator 99. I thought it would never be possible, especially on an RNG game of all types. But either way, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this week's update and if you are excited for Pet Sim 99 update tomorrow. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching hope to catch you in the next one and peace out